this video goes out to those who are very close to me in my life. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for all the wrong I've done. I'm sorry for all the short shortcomings that I've done. I'm sorry I'm sorry for all the negative ways you think about me. I'm sorry for not being able to fulfill my role, my part. I want to testify to you that Jesus Christ is real. He loves each and every one of you. I testify that God is real. God the Father is real. And He loves all of us beyond description. That's one thing I've learned in the past few years is this. Nobody can force you to force you to believe. That's your own choice. That's a choice that's placed before us. Nobody can force you to heal. That's your own choice to allow Heavenly Father to heal you. And I learned this back in August of 2021 when I almost took my life. That's when I was brought up to me over the next three years since then. That with each and every one of you I inadvertently fell into a trap that was geared towards taking away your agency to choose. And for that, I'm sorry. Now, I don't expect for any of you to, to believe me. But know this I love you each and every one of you and I don't know what the good Lord has planned for me next but I love each and every one of you with a love that is beyond description that only God has given me. I loved you guys before, but now I love you guys with a Christ like love. I love you. I wish the best for you. And no, this isn't an, un an unaliving, a self deletion note or letter or video no I felt very prompted some very strongly to bear my testimony the scriptures are real are true the Book of Mormon is true they are and through prayer direct links back to the Father and He can teach you through the scriptures.
the closer you get to Jesus Christ, the closer you get to Heavenly Father, the harder Satan's going to work to get you to walk away, to get you to not, to get you to deny what you've done with the gospel, what you, what you've done through the gospel, what the covenants and promises you made. He's going to get you to deny it the closer you get to him. It is my sole wish that each and every one of you give everything, absolutely everything over to the Father and allow God to come in to your life, guide you through the healing process as he did me. and heal you of everything and this means you're going to have to give up everything good, bad and the ugly the part and especially the bad and the ugly the parts that you don't want anybody else to see the parts that you don't want anybody else to know give it to him that's what's holding you back right now that is what's holding you back from what God wants for you I love you with a love that is beyond description and it is my hope my prayer that you will be in heaven one day like I said I don't know what the Lord has in store for me he's shown me bits and pieces but I don't really know especially with what's going on with me health wise I just felt very very strongly just a few minutes ago to bear my testimony to you everything that's in the gospel of Jesus Christ is real and true Jesus is real and alive today and getting ready to come back I promise you that as you do your best to be faithful to Christ he will take up the slack. I am out of the woods, kind of, so far. Once care was my eye surgery, possibly could have been cancer. I'll, I'll know more here in about six weeks. But I'm still not out of the woods yet. Something's going on up here. Even today, I, for the past six weeks, almost a month, two months now, somewhere in there, can't remember, I've had a, a constant headache. Starting back here to go all the way up here. Right now, my, my this, my eye hurts. And, I'll, and that'll probably move out throughout my head to where it will literally feel like my head is pulsating but it'll hurt greatly right, and right now my head feels very very light like I don't have the back of my head right now I don't know what it's going, what is to come, but 
know this. Everything I've done is to show my love for you and then to show the Father's love for you through my actions. I love you guys more than you can imagine. And I hope you realize this before my time is up.